and this lesson is on multiples. Another one of my favorite topics because it's easy. Here's what I mean. If I was asked to find the multiples of three, I start with three, and essentially what it means is first multiply three times one, which would be three, multiply three times two, which would be six, multiply three times three, hopefully you're seeing the pattern, which would be nine. Let's do a few more. Four, five, and six. Four times three is 12. Five times three is 15. Six times three is 18. It really is just knowing your multiple times, your multiplication tables. I can speak, I know. <laughs> your multiplication tables. So, let's try it without having to draw the little chart. If I said, find the multiples of seven, in your head, I want you to think, what's seven times one? Seven. What's seven times two? 14. Seven times three? Seven times four? Seven times five? And so on and so forth. Sometimes a math problem will ask you a specific question like, find me the sixth multiple of five. Well, let's try it. The sixth one, we're gonna stop at the sixth one. And there you go, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the sixth multiple of five is 30. It really is just another way to do your multiplication tables. And it's often thought about as the opposite of factoring. Factoring goes lower, multiples go higher. That's it, that was a simple one. Hope you got it. I'll talk to you later, bye-bye.